Hey everyone, and welcome to Mini SE in Focus. In this video, I want to talk about the somewhat inaccurate range meter on the Mini SE and show you how to manually calculate your estimated range to reduce your range anxiety in the middle of a road trip. As a bonus, I'm also providing a handy iOS shortcut I wrote to quickly calculate mini range on your iPhone, but more on that later. To review, this is my 2022 Mini Cooper SE Full Electric. I've had it for over four months and 4,000 miles. It is by far my favorite vehicle I've ever owned. The BMW ownership of Mini is very apparent in the solid build quality of the SE, and the firm steering is great. With the OEM summer tires, the car stays confidently planted on the road during sharp corners, and you will rarely lose a stoplight derby. It's a pocket rocket. One of the bigger complaints I see posted about the Mini SE is not its driving characteristics, but its range. I have several things to say about the Mini's range. First, in order to keep the SE with both a price level and driving characteristics in the ballpark of a Gas Cooper S, they had to keep the weight of the car down. That meant keeping the battery pack smaller. So the range is lower than most other EVs, but it retains the fun driving feel that makes it a Mini. Second, for your normal day-to-day -day use, say anything under 100 miles, range will rarely be an issue, period. Especially if you have a level 2 charger installed where you live, which only takes 4 hours to give you a complete charge. The Mini's battery is designed to be plugged in and charged to 100% every night if needed. Why do I say that? Because the actual capacity on the battery is 32.6 kilowatt hours, but Mini limits your use to 28.9 kilowatt hours to protect the battery from complete discharge and from overcharging. The Mini battery pack was adapted from the BMW i3, so it has been around since 2013, and it has a good track record so far. The built-in buffering means that when you charge from 0 to 100%, you're actually charging the battery from somewhere around 4% up to around 92%. This, in theory, will help extend the life of the batteries. And we can only hope that when many SEs start to need replacement battery packs down the road, that the technology has improved to get even more range from the same size battery pack. So, from my perspective, I plan to plug the Mini into charge whenever I need to and drive it like a silent assassin every day. The third thing I want to mention about range is regarding road trips. At a public DC fast charging station, the Mini can get an 80% charge in around 35 minutes, which is much longer than a gas fill up, but not a terrible break on a long road trip. However, until the charging station infrastructure improves in the United States, I cannot recommend the Mini be the only vehicle you own if you take fairly frequent road trips exceeding its comfortable range. I still use my longer range gas vehicles for road trips and will continue to do so until there are more plentiful and reliable charging stations in the south where I live. The EPA range rating on the 2022 SE is 114 miles. That rating is very conservative for most driving situations. If you do mostly interstate driving in very cold weather, then yes, the range is probably going to drop below 100 miles. In mild or hot temperatures, you will do much better, even up in the 140 mile range on trips with mostly back roads. Next, let's look at this little guy, the range meter, also known as the gesometer or GOM. You are unlikely to see the GOM correctly predict the actual mileage your Mini is capable of. Most of the time, my Mini's GOM shows around 98 to 104 miles of range after a full charge. This is compared to my average manually calculated range from all my trips of 127 miles. It also does not help that the GOM bases your mileage prediction on your last outing. So if you charged up the battery overnight for a long trip today, but you ran a few errands yesterday in sport mode driving like a maniac, the range prediction is probably not going to be all that meaningful for the drive you're about to make. This is very frustrating, but understandable. Mini does not want EV drivers getting stranded with a dead battery and having to call for a flatbed tow truck. But I want to reassure you that with just a little forethought, you can confidently exceed the range estimate the Mini is showing you because, well, math. As I already said, the usable capacity on the Mini is 28.9 kilowatt hours. If you're going to take a road trip, do two simple things before you put the car in drive. Reset your odometer to zero and note your starting battery percent. Not the inaccurate reading on the main instrument cluster. This piece of crap has a margin of error of 12.5% because it is still based on one eighth of a freaking gas tank. Many should redesign that with more segments and multiples of five or 10. Instead, click the top button on your left hand stalk until you see the actual battery percent and note what the value is. Keep clicking the button until you also see your odometer reading. 
Then, you can press the button hidden on the top left of your instrument cluster to reset it to zero. Armed with accurate distance driven, battery percent, and battery capacity, you now have all the data you need to calculate a much more accurate range during your road trips. This is assuming your future driving conditions are similar to the miles you already covered on the trip. This is a very important caveat. If the temperature suddenly drops significantly, so does your range. If you suddenly come upon a long uphill drive into the mountains, your range will be reduced. So taking a road trip with a Mini SE does require awareness of your driving topography and weather conditions. I've tracked most of my longer trips in a spreadsheet to get an idea of the range capabilities along the most common routes I drive. You can pause this if you want to see the data. Here is how the data is calculated. We will track miles driven, battery percent left, and battery capacity in kilowatt hours. Let's assume we start with zero miles on the odometer, a fully charged battery, and we put down our capacity of 28.9 kilowatt hours. Assume on our trip that we've driven 100 miles before stopping to charge, and the battery reads 25% left, so we use 75% of the battery. If we take the capacity and multiply it by 75%, we can see we've used 21.68 kilowatt hours, and we have 7.225 kilowatt hours left in the battery. Next, we want to calculate miles per kilowatt hour, which is a common range efficiency indicator you will hear EV drivers talking about. Take the 100 miles we drove and divide it by the 21.68 kilowatt hours of the battery that we used, and that gives us 4.61 miles per kilowatt hour. For every 4.6 miles we drove, we used one kilowatt hour of the battery's charge. To estimate how many miles we have left on the battery, take that 4.61 and multiply it by the 7.225 kilowatt hours left, to get an estimated range of 33 miles. And finally, add those 33 miles to the 100 miles we already drove to get a total calculated range of 133 miles. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not taking a whiteboard in the Mini to calculate range. What I did instead is write an iOS shortcut on my iPhone, which allows me to do all of this math in just a few seconds. It prompts for total miles driven, the start battery charge, the ending battery charge, and then it does all the math for you. In the video description, you'll find a link where I have shared this iOS shortcut, as well as a link to the EV range icon I created if you want to add the shortcut to your home screen as a fancy looking bookmark. Once you have the shortcut on your phone, simply touch the three dot menu and select Add to Home Screen. Then, under Home Screen Name and Icon, touch the default icon and select Choose Photo. Find the icon photo and crop it to your liking, then save it. And that's it. That was a lot of talking in this video, but I hope I've armed you with a little more knowledge to feel comfortable with calculating the range that you can get on your Mini SE, and you don't have to worry so much about that guessometer. Thanks so much for watching.